EST Connect is a system designed to replicate the familiar recording studio environment over the internet. This allows the artist to be in one location and the engineer in another room at a different geographical location. This capability is remarkable in and of itself, but what sets VST Connect apart is that only the engineer needs to have Cubase and the project file. Now there are other similar systems around, but they require both partners to have an active project file. VST Connect provides the performer with a very simple application called VST Connect SE Performer, which the engineer controls remotely using Cubase. This allows the performer to concentrate on the music while the engineer provides all the adjustments to the mix. VST Connect requires a solid internet connection at both ends with a minimum of 256 kilobytes upstream plus a reasonable local connection. An ethernet cable connected directly to your router or modem is highly recommended on both ends. Now the easiest way to get started is by creating a new project using the VST Connect template. The VST Connect plugin opens automatically. To view the operations manual for this plugin, click on the question mark. The operations manual will walk you through how to configure all the required signal routing, but the template will be a perfect way to get going quickly. We also need to have our performer download the VST Connect SE Performer application from the Steinberg website. This is a free download that anyone can install. Now it's critical that your performer does not launch Cubase or any other audio application. The VST Connect SE Performer application is all they need. Now that we have a VST Connect project set up and our talent has the performer app running, it's time to connect. Give your studio a name and click Login. The system will generate a unique keyword. Give this to your performer. You'll need a new keyword for every session. Have the performer name their studio. Then have them enter the keyword and remind the performer that it's important to include the space when entering the keyword. Then click Log In. You can now see and hear the performer, record them, and create the perfect cue mix. Now I should point out that the controls to the right are for the performer's audio and settings, not yours. To adjust your stuff, click on the Setup button. VST Connect uses a technology named VRLC, VST Connect Remote Latency Compensation. Basically, when the Cubase or Nuendo transport is started, the engineer will have to wait for a second or so until playback begins. Internal playback starts and sends the headphone mix to the performer. The performer sings or plays to what they hear. The combined result is then sent back to Cubase aligned for listening and recording. These bar graphs show synchronization during playback and recording. Each bar graph represents one second of time and shows how much audio is already available on either end. The LED lights indicate connection quality. These are generally green, but occasional red activity during start, stop, and locate is normal. The engineer can control the performer's mixer whenever the two are connected. The performer can make adjustments too, but we recommend that the engineer handle it if possible so that the performer can focus on the music. The mic fader controls the monitor volume of the performer's microphone input. Use this control when the performer asks for more of their own voice in the headphone mix. By the way, none of the faders and knobs in this window affect the signal sent to Cubase. The studio fader controls the monitor volume of the playback, including talkback. Use this control when the performer asks for more of the mix in their headphones. Master controls the overall listening level for the performer, and Metro controls the volume of the metronome if it's turned on. The EQ, compressor, and reverb controls are for the performer's monitor mix only. This allows you to improve their listening experience with things like comfort reverb. Use the instrument switch to add an additional channel to record a second feed, like an acoustic guitar. The MON button lets the engineer tap into the performer's monitor signal to check what the performer is hearing. Use the config or configuration button to call up and adjust the performer's audio setup. This again is best left to the engineer if at all possible. The talkback switch and the talkback volume are used to communicate via the engineer's talkback mic. 
Be sure to read through the operations manual for detailed guidance on configuration and troubleshooting. Now, let's see VST Connect in action. Would you mind moving the mic in just a little bit and then let me know when you're set? I'm so set. Okay, here we go. Great job. Why, thank you.